Hi, how you doing? This is Rich from Behalf of Rich TV Live with our very special guest. It is Ben from Pure Extracts. How are you doing today, Ben? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you enjoying the conference so far? Fantastic. A lot of interesting companies out today. It's fantastic. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. It's been an interesting year in the cannabis sector. Why don't we start off by you telling us a little bit about your company and what makes you guys unique? Thank you very much. Uh, Pure Extract is a large-scale extractor. We extract cannabis, uh, making a host of oil-related products, formulating for the beverage, vape, um, capsules, edibles uh, area. Growing industry with 2.0 coming online. The host of companies, the LPs, need additional capacity in the extraction business. And you know, we were previously a great market producer that's turned to the legal market. So you know, we've already lived through 2.0 on the black market side, and now we're here to help companies on the 2.0 side. Well, you guys are in a very hot sector because out of all the companies in 2019, two of the best, Metafarm Labs, Valens Grow Works, both extraction companies. So are you similar to any of these companies? If you have to compare yourself to another extraction company, is there another company you can compare yourself to or are you guys unique? Uh, we're unique and the same, it's in the same breath. Uh, Metafarm and Valens are, are very similar to us, you know, large scale extraction business, both doing custom formulations and extractions, both for their LPs and selling product under private or, or white label. So very much the same. Where we differ a little bit is we were in that business long before they were in existence and we were in that extraction and knowing what sells to the public in the gray market. So we have a little bit of a, a, a different edge from Metafarm and Valens of, we were in business for a couple years before it was legalized from a 2.0 perspective. So we have a little bit more market data on what the consumer would want. So that's a little bit of a, a differentiating factor for us. Okay. Now our investors are worldwide in over 60 countries and they love to invest in undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed, hyper growth opportunities. Obviously this is a hyper growth sector. If an investor was looking at your company and they were wanting to invest, what would you say to that investor? Well, I would say this. Um, Pure Extract is a value play. We are going public in March, so on the CSC. Um, we've looked at the market and we understand what a difficult market it's been over the last year. And you have to provide value to investors and you have to show by execution of the management team that you can build a business, a profitable business. Um, I come from a large scale cultivator. I was a CEO of Natura Naturals. We sold to Tilray in, okay. uh, in February. So, you know, building value for the shareholder is, is this table stakes today and I think from from our perspective you know we put our money where our method is we didn't uh, overprice this from a valuation perspective we want to build the equity on the back of our revenue and profitability so you guys are going public in March yes so have you already organized your share structure do you can you explain a little bit about your share structure maybe how much insiders are holding and how, what your issue and outstanding is sure um, there'll be about 70 million shares outstanding the nice. uh, the management owns about 10 percent um, the shares we have a very strong lockup structure so the uh, the founders and whatnot are very much you know in the boat for the long term from that perspective we are raising 10 million dollars you know uh, we uh, are in the market right now it's actually going fairly well you know in a tough market which is great um, we'll be public uh, in the March timeframe both on the CSC and then we'll do a, an aim listing uh, subsequent to that AIM listing okay and what is 2020 going to look like for your company we're excited about 2020. It's uh, for us, you know, the, some of the cultivators, they didn't have such a good 19 and 2020 doesn't, doesn't look as bright. Um, for us with 2.0 rolling out, um, the sea is our oyster for lack of a better word. You know, there's a host of opportunities for us to produce both in the edible market and the tolling market. And, you know, there's a lot of LPs that don't have that expertise and don't have the capital to do that. We, we have the expertise being in this business for several years before and my previous experience running a large scale LP so we feel good about 2020 and uh, you know 2021 fantastic if there was anything that somebody wanted to know about your company that maybe someone doesn't know is there anything you could you could tell the investors that are watching 
like you know it's something that makes that maybe would be a surprise or something you guys are working on or some type of a joint venture or m a's or anything like that any surprises anything that you're working on secret weapons yeah. <laughs> we like to know you like to know, like to know there's anything I, I would, crazy coming i would say we're always working on very interesting uh jvs and product development that's you know our di differentiating factor the nice thing is we, we were in this industry previously we're very dialed into the u.s market we're bringing brands up from the u.s you know to do white label and joint venture you know with us and that's that's kind of table stakes of differentiating our business from our competitors like valentine and Metafarm, that you know, growth area with brands coming from south of the border and, and across the pond that we can develop within Canada and grow the Canadian market. Eventually, the regulations will come off on advertising. You'll be able to differentiate your brand a little bit, but either you have to get them here and get them established. And that's you know our secret weapon. You know, and you'll find out who it is when we hit the market in March. I love it. Now, I've been watching this sector since 2017. I remember watching the cannabis sector in Canada, the market cap on marijuana index was like 200. It went up to over 1,000, now it's back to 200. We are the lowest we have been since 2017. The entire sector, despite the fact that companies are profitable, despite the fact that their revenues are all-time highs, despite the fact that we have more stores, despite the fact that we've been legal for over a year, everything keeps getting bigger, but yet the sector keeps shrinking. What do you think about that? Like what is what is someone who's about to open up a business in a sector that's been collapsing thinking about this industry when realistically as an investor we know it can only go up from here that's right so i think we're, we're at the bottom i think the market the market was oversold the lps um really built uh, too much hype around it's we're going to build it and the people will come versus i'm going to build a profitable business that has fundamentals with a management team that can execute versus i have the biggest greenhouse or i have the biggest production and that that was you know not now they got the biggest amount of debt yeah, exactly. Well, or they have the biggest amount of production and nowhere to sell it, That's right? right. So. Yeah, so it's just been a... But at the same time, you're probably happy because they were able to make all those mistakes so you don't have to. 100%. And, right? and even better, for our, from, from my segment, because we're an extractor, you know, the market price of dry cannabis has fallen you know, very steadily over the yes. last few months. So my input costs continue to erode. The tolling amount, because there's a lack of tolling um, folks out there, our tolling amount that we charge is pretty constant. So we have a perfect storm right now for the, the extraction business. So in the segments, you know, core LP that's a grower, it's a tougher market for core extraction with 2.0 coming on and the host of new products that are coming to market. You know, we have a very nice opportunity to capitalize on those products you know, being rolled out because we're gonna provide the oil input uh, for those products. That's perfect. Guys, this is a new company. They're going to be going public in March. Keep your eye on the prize, stay tuned. This is Ben, the CEO of Pure Extracts. Thank you so much for being here today. I wish you all the best of luck in your future endeavors. Our entire community will be watching very closely and hopefully you guys uh, hit all your objectives and achieve all your goals. Uh, I really appreciate it and stay tuned. Thank you so much. Have a nice day, guys. Thank you Thank for watching. You.